and what does it mean it means that when the delta function is at the middle then the energies are not perturbed for even n means for even levels the energy remains the same is for the unperturbed infinite square well while for the odd infinite so for the odd values means the odd levels will be disturbed now i can uh, check this thing on uh, psi n0 and look here to psi n0 and psi n0 is 2 over a and sin n pi x over a when i am at the middle of this infinite square well x is a by 2 so i will get 2 over a square root and sin n pi by 2 when n is odd then i am getting this wave function when n is even the wave function becomes zero because sine becomes zero then this whole wave function becomes zero means when n is equal to even then this gives me no wave function the wave function doesn't exist so that's why its energy correction is not available is the wave function is not there similarly means the wave function will not feel this perturbation and it is it is like that you are taking some even steps and there is some perturbance and it comes just in between your step so you are not feeling it b part this was the a part like the first order correction to the energy and now the first order correction to the wave function so part b means what about the first order correction to the wave function how the wave function will get modified now i am having the first order correction to the wave function by this equation putting n equal to 1 and i will have this one psi 1 1 is equal to summation when n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 so i will have the psi 1 1 and here this m will not be equal to 1 because m should not be equal to n and i can write that m is not equal to 1 then psi m0 h prime psi 1 0 because n i have taken is 1 it was psi m0 and psi n0 so this is psi 1 0 and what this will come out is e 1 0 minus e m 0 now this is the equation that we will have to find first we will find this one means the numerator then we will find the denominator and we will just divide the two values so first let's start with this one that this one psi m0 psi m0 and then yes n is equal to 1 yes here yes you are right this is psi m0 here right so now i will first find out this one and this is psi m0 and h prime psi n0 so psi n is this is n is equal to 1 so psi 1 0 and now i will do these uh, steps uh, quickly because we have already calculated them psi m in this one so you will just put here when it is psi m then you will put m here when it will be psi n you will put n here so look here whatever the indices are 
2 over a will come with it. So 2 over a will come with it and from h prime the alpha will come. So again it will become 2 alpha over a and then the integral from 0 to a sine means the first function it is psi m0 here psi m0 so this will become uh, this wave function this will become sin m pi m pi x over e and then it will be delta x minus a over 2 and sin so it will be sin n pi x over a and n we have taken is 1 here right means n is equal to 1 so this will just become sin pi x over a and dx so we will find this one now what about the application of delta function delta function is for x a over 2 so again put here this is equal to 2 alpha over a from 0 to a and let me write it like this sin m pi x over a and sin pi x over a delta x minus a over 2 dx so just i have written both of them like this and now i will apply the delta function so it will just make x equal to a by 2 so when x is equal to a by 2 what result i will get let me write here 2 alpha over a then this will become x a by 2 so m pi by 2 it is sine and m pi by 2 while this one sine pi by 2 because x is a by 2 so sine pi by 2 and sine pi by 2 is equal to 1 So this is equal, this value sine pi by 2 is 1, so we got the value 2 alpha over a sine m pi by 2. This is the value that we got for this one. Now what about for the first order inside the term, the numerator term we have found? Now what about the m values? We know that for odd values this will work, for even values this is coming out to be 0. So we will only consider the odd values. What are the odd values? 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. But it shouldn't be equal to uh, 1 here. So it means it is true for 3, 5, 7 and so on. 1 will not be included here and now what about the denominator term the denominator term is e n e 1 0 because n is 1 e 1 0 minus e m 0 now about energy we know that it is n square pi square h bar square over 2 m a square so just put first e n 0 minus e m 0 and then e n 0 minus e m 0 so it will be pi square h bar square over 2 m a square n square minus m square and n is equal to 1 so we will just write this value is pi square h bar square over 2 m a square 1 minus m squared this is the numerator term psi m0 will come as it is so what is the first order correction to the wave function then psi 1 1 now put the two values this numerator value that we just found 
that it is summation on m and it is not equal to n and also m should be odd only m should be only odd even m is giving no value i can write this thing as a whole is m is equal to 3 5 7 and so on and then the value 2 alpha over a and sine of m pi by 2 sine m pi by 2 divide by this value which is pi square h bar square divide by 2 m a square and 1 minus m squared I can write this thing is the summation on m for the values so first get rid of this value first okay and it will have sign m0 as well keep this thing in mind that sign m0 will be just multiplied now calculate the summation here first calculate the terms when this 2 m a square will go up then 2 2 will become 4 a will be simplified one with this one and m alpha so it will be 4 alpha m a 1 a will be simplified right by pi square h bar squared and sine m pi by 2 divided by divided by 1 minus m squared and sine m 0 this is the result in which we will put the values what kind of values summation on m such that m is equal to 3 5 7 and so on and now put the values what we will get so this is 4 alpha m a this is equal to 4 alpha m a divide by pi square h bar square then these values when this is sine 3 pi by 2 sine 3 pi by 2 divide by 1 minus 3 square is 9 minus uh, sine 3 0 minus it will be plus here so these terms again sine 5 pi by 2 divide by 1 minus 25 sine 5 0 plus sine of 7 pi by 2 divide by 1 minus 7 so it will become 49 and sine 7 0 plus some other terms they will also come along and now I can write that <coughs> sine 1 1 is equal to 4 alpha m a divided by pi square edge bar square what about sine 3 pi by 2 minus 1 and minus 8 here so minus minus will cancel and we will get 1 over 8 here so 1 over 8 and um, okay, 1 over 8 and sine 3 0 1 over 8 sine 3 0 plus okay and what about if we write for the psi 3 the function right it is good to write the function as well for this one so what it will be psi 3 put psi 3 here so it will be sine 3 pi x over a but let me write in this form and it is minus okay plus here 
this one is minus this one is plus so it will be plus sin 5 uh, 5 pi by 2 it will be minus or plus minus so minus and minus plus and 1 over 24 sin 5 0 and plus it will be <coughs> minus 1 again from here and minus from here so plus 1 over 48 and psi 7 0 and so on so this is the first order correction to the wave function now inside this one means it is like a linear combination of the unperturbed state psi 3 psi 5 and so on so this is the first order correction to the wave function then we can write here that psi n is equal the unperturbed wave function which is this one plus the first order correction to the one state psi 1 and it is equal to this one so if this is plus 1 then this will be minus yes plus minus plus and then minus so you are right and this way we are able to find the first order uh, correction to the wave function